Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the Freewing A4 Skyhawk. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna take out all the parts and pieces, and then at the end, we're gonna do our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right guys, here's what we've got going on inside the box. This is a look at our top layer. Here is a look at our water slide decals. Now there are two different options. One is for the Marines and one is for the Navy. And of course, here's our all important user manual. Very cool. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on underneath the second layer. Okay, so here's a look at the second layer inside the box. The very first thing I wanted to do was take a nice close look at this fuselage right here. Look at this guys. Even through the plastic, it looks simply stunning. All right, coming up next, I'm gonna take all the parts and pieces outside of the box so we can take a closer look. All right, guys, here's a nice overview look at this big old kit. And here are some Admiral packs. I plan to use both of these in this jet. And of course, I'm gonna have them all charged up, fly it, but of course, before I do that, I've got to put this together. And before I could do that, I need to show you guys everything that comes in this kit. Here is the fuselage. And right on top is that avionics hump. That's attached via magnets and it pops off so you can fly it with or without. That is really cool. And right down there at the base of the fuse, you can attach the wing uh, really easily. For transport you can remove it all that stuff which is awesome and here is what that plugs into so that makes it very simple and let's look at both wings top and bottom that is awesome look at that detail you know what the finish on this thing I have not found one single flaw and I am like a hound trying to find flaws with stuff like that and I have found nothing which is awesome and here's a good look at the armament and of course, they attach to the pylons, which are right here in the foam. Wanted to keep those all together, so I didn't take those out. Here are the accessories packs. Control rods and horns and stuff. Clevises. And this is really the only part that we glue on. This goes to the back of the fuse. A lot like the L39. Very similar design in that way. And of course, there's our rudder. Here are horizontal stabs. Nose cone, this has a magnetic nose cone. So you can uh, make it just a touch shorter for transport. Yeah, this thing is really, really well made. I am very happy with how things look so far. That's not always the case at this stage of the game in an unboxing video. So without further ado, I am going to put this thing together. And when you see it next, it will be assembled and I'll probably have some build notes too. That's all coming up next. All right, guys, here is a look at this jet. And yes, I plan to fly this with that Admiral 5000 6S pack. Very nice. This thing just looks stunning, guys. Top to bottom, it's incredible. There are a ton of different things that you can add to make it scale, even more scale, and then even more scale after that. I went with a little a bit of a minimalist approach and of course after the maiden I will probably add a little extra here and there but just this setup that I have I really like it it's nice and clean it's just beautiful all right coming up next we're gonna take a look inside the canopy all right guys here is a look inside the canopy there's the receiver that I plan to use. Now, if the Maiden does not go well, I'm probably gonna use one of Motion RC's receiver with a gyro and all that stuff. But uh, I had this one already, so I am gonna use that for the Maiden. You can see that this battery bay is huge and nice and clean. I love that. And I am going to be right back and I'm gonna show you exactly where I plan to Maiden this with that 5,000 milliamp hour pack. All right, so here's what it looks like inside the battery bay where I plan to fly it. Now, this is pretty much what it shows in the picture on the amended manual on motionrc.com, so be sure to check that out. 
for the center of gravity information as well as battery information. But uh, this is what I derived from that and this is what I'm gonna maiden it like. So there we go. Coming up next, we are gonna do a control surfaces as well as EDF test. That's all coming up next. Okay, so before we get to that other stuff, I do wanna show you how easy it is to put that hump on there. And it's just as easy to take off. Now this is the avionics hump and just some magnets underneath there. And different folks like different variants and you've got some accessories you can put in that little slot up there. I mean, this thing can be absolutely customized to your heart's content. And I think that's incredible. One of the big features on this thing, so that's what it looks like with the hump. Good look at it. Oh, there we go. Now we get a good look at it. All right. Now we're gonna do some testing and that's all coming up next. All right, guys, we've got another really cool thing to show you. I've got this landing gear deployed. Now we're gonna suck it back up. It is scale. You can see how that spun there. We're gonna bring it back down. And not only does that have that nice little spin there, we have some nice oleo suspensions on the main, oleo suspension rather, on the mains. And that is awesome. And of course, we've got the trailing link on the front. Let me see if I can manually do this one-handed. Oh yeah, it works so well, I can do it one-handed. That is awesome, guys. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do what I promised a little bit earlier. As promised, we're gonna do a control surfaces test. Right here, we've got our ailerons, and these are all in low rates. Rudder, now let's do the flaps. I can see this angle isn't the best for seeing the flaps. That is half flaps. There's full flaps. Let's bring that thing all the way up and let's do a quick EDF test. Now I'm not gonna take it all the way, but I will give you a bit of a wind rush and here we go. Oh yeah, that thing has some power. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do our pros and cons. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this thing up for this beautiful Freewing A4 Skyhawk. As far as the pros go, this thing has a really nice, smooth, matte finish. This really does have a nice, smooth finish. I love it. The scale retracts with quality suspension are another big pro for me. I absolutely love that. In addition to that, you can go between the F and E variants with that magnetic hump. That is really cool. In addition to the hump, the provided decal sets and the fact that the airframe comes pretty much bare once you put it together out of the box allows for significant customization. I went with the basic Navy scheme, but you can go all out, guys. That's one of the pros of this, especially for those of you that really like to customize things. I'm not really that guy, but I know a lot of you out there are, so that is an option. Speaking of customization, the kit also comes with tons of different parts and pieces for uh, to really make this thing super scale. It comes with a tail hook for, and also cockpit steps, just antennas everywhere, all sorts of really cool things. One pro that most people don't think about is that this has been out for a while, but not crazy long. So it's still got a lot of new stuff a lot of new design features like the really smooth foam, all that, but all the bugs have been worked out. That is something that's key, especially if you get a lot of new stuff where it's not quite worked out yet. This one has been out long enough that this thing went together great. All the molds looked fantastic. Just everything was great. I mean, I, I really don't have anything bad to say, so I'm gonna reach here for the con and then complain about the water slide decals, which frankly, that's just me being a baby. So it really wasn't even that bad. And it was kind of fun once I got the hang of them. So really, I don't really have any cons for this thing. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.